Without me, eyes are marbles. No darkness they see. Faces look garbled. No flurry they feel. No breath, no cheer. Death not to fear. Time is not spent. Roses has no scent. At nothing you can marvel without me. But it wasn't roses, my precious. Not roses. Lilies. Not lilies. Not roses. Which one was it, precious? upon his back. We may provide you with a car. There is no hope for him, I fear. The creature is lost. Well, let's see how he responds to some light. Someone tortured him long before the Dunadan found him. The darkness grows beyond our borders. My people are growing anxious. We cannot let this evil linger among us. Enough. We believe that he went to Mordor. That's what I feared. What did he hope to find, I wonder? Believe us. I want to hear what he has to say. Why don't we start with your name? Your real name, not the one others have given you. Very well. Let us try someone else's name. Bilbo Baggins. Yes, you remember him. He found you, more than 60 years ago, deep underneath the roots of the Misty Mountains. He took something from you. A ring. My precious. You were looking for it, weren't you? You left your home in the mountains, worming your way down the hills, always hiding from the moon. You follow the Hobbit's trace all the way east to the Lonely Mountain. But then you stop and turn south. Why? Something must have drawn you away. A voice calling you to the land of shadow. Leave us alone! Whispering your name in your dream. Not listening! So, once again, what is your name? Smeagol. Very well, Smeagol. Now, let us start at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> 